Welcome Mission Hill family. I'm so glad to be back on this platform again. It is Tuesday, midday, and this is our time for our midday prayer time. And so I welcome you. Thank you so much for joining us. And I believe we're going to spend a wonderful time in his presence. I will go ahead and start with a prayer of praise. I believe our Lord is faithful. He deserves our praise. We praise him for who he is, and then also we 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 thank him for what he has done for us. We show gratitude to the God Almighty, our Holy Father. So will you join me even right now in prayer? Everlasting Father, in the name of Jesus, we just uh, come to spend a few minutes with you in prayer. We want to praise you first for who you are, for your faithfulness. You are a glorious God, mighty Savior. You are the Holy One. There is no one like you. We thank you for your faithfulness, your grace, your mercy, your goodness, your compassion, your provision, O oh Lord, that every single day we can stop and count our blessing and realize and see, O oh God, how faithful you are and show gratitude. Lord, at this very moment, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all the great and wonderful things you have done and you keep on doing, Lord, and you will do also in our lives. So we're so grateful. Thank you for our church uh, family. We thank you, O oh God, for your faithfulness on each household, on each family. O oh God, that you've been, O oh God, helping, providing, sustaining. You are the one that we look unto you, O oh Lord. Whenever we're facing whatever situation, O oh God, our eyes are always on you because you are the help that we need. You have the answers that we need. And before you, there's no situation that doesn't have a solution. So we bless your holy name. We thank you. We glorify your name, Lord. Be the exalted Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for praying with us. I uh, just want us uh, to spend a little bit of time on, um, on Proverbs chapter, chapter 3 from verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. You know, most of the times uh, we may be thinking like, well, I need prayer for only big and strong things that I have no clue where my help will come from. But there's certain things that we know if I do this or if I ask this body or I do this, you know, it's going to work out well. Uh, and then at the end of the day, we, we, f we feel bad when... It didn't work the way that we want things to be. I, I think it's very important to trust the Lord in every situation, either small or big. Either we think we can pull it out alone or we think we need the help of the Lord. It's very important to get Him involved in everything that we do. So trust in the Lord. Do not lean on your own understanding, on your own wisdom, on your own experience, on your own ways of doing things. Because when that doesn't work, then you have no way to turn on to. You have nothing to turn on to. But when you trust the Lord, when you get God involved, you will have better results. You will have peace in the process. And he will give you a living testimony. I think it's very, very encouraging. So whatever you're going through right now, whatever you're going through, regardless of the situations, or how hard and how tough and how hopeless you think it could be, get God involved. Get Jesus involved. Trust in the Lord. Trust him. Trust him with the situation. And he will make your path straight. He will bring a solution where it's needed. He will give you peace in the process. So I want us to, to pray right now. Are you trusting God for a job? Are you trusting God for a financial blessing? Are you trusting God for healing? Are you trusting God for wisdom? You're about to take a decision. Are you trusting God and but your child that's getting out of hand? You trust in God with a difficult situation at work. It may be relational issues that you keep on trying to fix, but it's not working. Will you trust God right now? Let's pray right now and trust God that he will see us through, that he will, he will make the way even where there's no way. He's the one that can change situation around and give us peace and a living testimony. So I want you to pray with me even right now. Lord Jesus, here we are again. In your name we are praying. Trust in you, O oh God. Many things that we can do on our own. Some of us trust in you for a job. Some, O oh God, for financial blessing, O oh God, to be able to cover the bills of this month. 
or I can even say the bills of last month. Some of us, oh God, is health issues. It's not getting better. We've been praying, but still in pain, and hospital report is not good. Lord, step in. Trust in you, oh Lord, for the physical health of all of us, oh God. Some in hospital, some at home, oh God. We can mention names, oh God. But we know you are the ultimate healer. I trust you, oh God, with healing. We're praying right now, oh Lord Jesus, for multitude. That I was at Jesus. That they don't have the peace of God. That go to bed every day in fear of death and life after death. God, will you just save? Will you send someone to them? Will you, oh God, let them hear the word of Jesus, the word of love, salvation through him? Oh, we're so grateful. We can continue on and on on and various needs, oh God. Some we don't even know what people are going through in details, but you know. So God, ask your children right now, open up their heart to you, crying out for help. Lord, will you step in? Will you provide? Will you sustain? Will you guide? Will you bless? Will you lead the way? Will you overwhelm our heart with peace and positivity, oh God, and victory that only comes from you? We're so grateful, Lord Jesus, for our church, oh God, what you've been doing through our church, oh Lord. We thank you for the leadership. We bless your name, oh Father. Oh God, for this great body of Christ Jesus, locally here in Temple Terrace, Mission Hill, God, we're so grateful. Lord, we bless your holy name, Lord. We thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I'm just uh, going a little bit back in Psalms 40. I read from verse 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the out of, out of the merry bog, and set my feet upon the rock, making my steps secure. You see, sometimes we get discouraged. We'll be praying without any answer. Don't get discouraged. Keep on trusting the Lord. Keep on waiting. Verse 1 says, I waited patiently for the Lord. Are you waiting for God to step into your life, your job, your business, your marriage, your children's issue? Whatever it is that, that you're waiting, keep on waiting. Don't quit. Keep on waiting. I waited patiently. Ask God to bless you with patience. Ask God to just help you to keep on trusting, keep on waiting. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. When you wait, you will hear from the Lord. He will step in, and he will give you the peace that you, that you need. He put a new song in my mouth. Wow, that's amazing. That's verse 3. A song of praise to our God. He put a new song in my mouth. A song of praise to our God. You see, when you wait, and the Lord intervene in your life situation. You'll be overwhelmed with joy and peace. And you'll be blessed with a new song, the songs of praise. You will sing praise to his name. Because he's so good and faithful. And amazing. And then he continues, many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. I'm just praying that today we'll be counted among those who will totally, 100% trust in the Lord in whatever they're going through. Trust in Him. The Bible says those who trust in the Lord will never be ashamed in this life. In fact, their faces will be radiant and shame will never be their portion. You know, when you trust in the Lord, He will always come through because He's faithful. Even when we're unfaithful sometimes, he is always faithful. And he's a good father. And he loved us so much. I'm just encouraging ourselves this moment to just keep on trusting, keep on believing, keep on holding on to the Lord. Let's fix our eyes on him and him alone. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. Our eyes are on you. 
not on what's going on around us, oh Lord. You know, life is not easy. Sometimes it's tough. Sometimes it's discouraging. Sometimes we want to give up. Sometimes we want an answer right now and now only. But God, our eyes are on you right now. We trust you. We believe in you. We're looking forward, oh God, for great things that only you can do in our lives. Oh God, we refuse to give up because we know our God, you are able and you are faithful and you are able to do far above what we can ask. We will even imagine you alone can do beyond imagination in every life that trusted in you. So here we are, Lord. The burdens of our heart and our lives, oh God, and our families, the challenges that we go through the day, every single day. Our eyes are on you and we trust you, O oh Lord, with solutions that can only come from you. Lord, I thank you. Thank you for our church family. Thank you, O oh God, for everyone, even right now, watching, praying with us, O oh Lord. Bless that person. O oh God, take care of his or her burden, O oh God. Lord, I'm praying even right now, Lord Jesus, that you step in into our lives, that you bring peace and clarity, confidence and trust, O oh Lord, as we continue moving forward, as we continue living. May the life of Jesus shine through our lives so we can walk in his victory. Be the exalted Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to thank you again for praying with us. I just can't wait to see some of you that will be able to make it uh, tomorrow for the house of prayer. Will we gather again and praise the Lord and pray and seek his face and have holy communion together. Uh, invite friends if you can. If, um, if you can, please, that would be really great. So we can come and worship together. Continue this prayer fellowship together in his presence. May God bless you. May you have wonderful rest of your day.